What is up guys, Chu here, bringing you another review on Baruto. This episode was actually really good. And the only reason I'm saying that is because Kakashi, Anko, Shina, and even Konohamaru were very serious in this episode. And it really did feel like it was like back in Naruto. They were actually causing the, causing the students to feel fear. And I think that's really one of the things that this series as a whole and so far has been missing. I've really enjoyed the way Kakashi has been handling it, what he's really trying to teach. And we also see how Baruto is nothing more than just a Naruto clone in this episode. Like he really is just like his father. And the fact that he gets irritated to be complained, to be compared, I'm sorry, like his father irritates him, and it's just even more obvious. I was honestly surprised at like, Anko's movements in this episode, but then again, I think she was holding back. I really wanted to see her more serious, and I was just really glad just to see her moving around. Konohamaru just coming and attacking people from behind being sneaky and I think that was also from him Shino actually going up against uh, Mitsuki and having a serious battle I really wished we had seen that fight honestly because I it looked like it was really intense pretty after the fight we pretty much see how Shino's little target was just obliterated basically Mitsuki is like not even half of Shino's age and already we know that Mitsuki is extremely powerful and even Shino realizes like you're just like your father well obviously he knows that Orochimaru is strong but then you kind of have to ask yourself is Orochimaru stronger than Shino because I, I'd like to see maybe something like that we never got to see that in Shippuden or in, in part one of Naruto I mean Shino is a decently strong shinobi if I was to compare him to say like a Dragon Ball level he might be like at a TN so he's not necessarily weak I just really wanted to see what other abilities he had developed but of course this episode mostly just centered on Kakashi against Baruto and having Baruto just kind of having that relationship with Kakashi was really fun to see. But even Kakashi even has to like put aside the friendliness in this episode and really stepped up a notch. And I really just enjoyed because when I was watching the episode, I got flashbacks of the whole tuning exam. It felt like the tuning exam, but watered down but it was still serious and having I think having Anko being part of this was pretty much fundamental because we saw her in part one of Naruto having to be kind of like the proctor in, in tuning exams and it was really cool to see that unfortunately for a lot of these students they were being wiped out especially the, the two friends uh, it was just kind of obvious that I'm thinking that a lot of these people that are being knocked out now are going to reconsider and not be Shinobi. And even though Kakashi said it himself, he's just like that the need for Shinobi isn't really high right now. Like he's just crushing dreams or at least what other little dreams some people had of becoming a Shinobi. But again, just the fact that he was just so serious and even telling Baruto, look, you need to call me by Lord Six, but which was a little funny, but at the same time, he was just keeping it serious. And he also couldn't hide the fact that he's very disappointed in the class as a whole, or this graduating bunch, because not necessarily Baruto is a bad influence, but because of Baruto, a lot of people are just kind of happy going. And in the case that something were to happen seriously, these guys aren't ready. 
none of them are ready for an actual challenge and very soon things are going to change things are going to get into motion and these kids are going to need to be woke like I, there's really no other way of saying it these guys are not prepared and i think kakashi is really doing a great job with trying to install this ad and at the same time he's being very serious and for those that aren't he's basically just kind of trying to like tell him look this isn't for you and konohama does a good job doing like knocking them out basically the weak ones or the ones we won't see anymore and out I thought it was cool that Alko pretty much also had a Genjutsu going, just to kind of confuse everyone. But in the end, teamwork was what's going on. We saw like Denki, Iwabe being motivated, Rock Lee, and we saw Hoki, the first the guy who resembles a lot like Akashi. I'm still wondering if that is his son, or at least his child that he hasn't claimed or whatnot. I'm just really wondering who this guy is like he even got lines in this episode so does this mean it or could this kid actually be just someone that really looks up to Kakashi and you know I'm just really curious as to this kid but and in the end we have Baruto just kind of hearing and Kakashi like basically you're my big the biggest disappointment of them all and Baruto is just confused but Overall, I gotta say, this episode was very good. It's a change of pace from what we were used to, and I'm really enjoying that. And from the preview, it looks like it even gets it stays serious. And we have Anko going, like, still trying to go all out. Konohamaru helping out. And we also saw Sada in this episode, who basically didn't really do much, but dodge a little bit of Konohamaru's attack. But... I'm also so happy to see Sumeri. But guys, that is it for me. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you guys did, please like, comment, subscribe. And I will catch you later.